Hi everyone, today we're back and we're going to do a little bit of experimenting. Um, we're going to try and use PVA as a pouring medium, and I'm sorry the lighting is horrible. Oh wait, no, never mind, that's just the white paint. Um, we're going to try using PVA as a pouring medium, aka glue, and I'm using Elmer's glue because that's what we have here in the United States, and that's the big glue, br glue brand. Um, so right now, what I'm doing, I have a few other colors to mix up, so don't worry. Um, I'm starting out by putting my paint in a cup, which this is Art District White, Titanium White. And this is a thicker paint, so I'm thinning it out with water first to make it like a fluid acrylic consistency. And I didn't really think about doing this before, but, um... Thank you to Anne Marie Ritterhoff. She um, made a video of using a thicker paint with a thicker pouring medium, and she showed how you can thin the paint before adding the pouring medium. So that's what we're doing. And I'll show you another color from start to the finish because I still have four colors to mix up. Two are going to be a little bit different than the other ones. And so this is here, I'll show you this too. This is Elmer's Glue All. This is what I had. Oop, that's probably good. And I might have to add more water to this just because glue is pretty thick. And I've tried using glue before. It did not work out very well. Um, but of course I didn't know all that I knew now. So we're going to try it again. And we're also going to be trying using this coconut milk anti-breakage serum stuff. I will have... Okay, so it's Nourishing Plus Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Serum by OGX. That's the brand, OGX. So, that's the silicone we're going to be using. And so this experiment is pretty much the one that Art by Fars did. Um, I think that's how you say their name, Art by... F-A-R-Z, I'm assuming it's FARS, but, um, yeah, they did an experiment like this a while back, so, and I thought it was really cool, so I wanted to try it, see if it works, and this is Artist Loft, oh, let's see if it'll focus, here it is, Artist Loft, color is aqua green, um, I don't know if there's a number on here, opaque, um, I don't see a number. Some of the paints have numbers, but it doesn't matter. So we got our paint in the cup, not too much, because we're going to be adding, start out with probably a quarter of the amount of paint with water, and then mix that together and see what it looks like. So pretty much what you're doing is you're turning this into a fluid acrylic. Essentially, that's the basic way of putting it. And so you can see as it comes back together here, it's not really fluid yet. So that means you need more water. You want it to run off your stick like as if it had pouring medium in it. So you want it to be pretty thin um, because the glue is thick. So when you add the glue, it's going to thicken it back up. And this is looking good. See how that's running off? But I want more more of this color, so we're going to put some more paint in. Come on. There we go. And we're going to just throw in a little bit more water and see what happens. So, I'm sorry about the lighting if it's not very good. Today was eventful to say the least. I was going to fil film this earlier in the morning, but um, we had some emergencies we had to deal with, and it was just frantic and chaotic. But it's all over with now. We're here. We're painting. And, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but painting is always a good stress reliever. I mean, I'm not really stressed out right now, but I was earlier.
So, now we're going to stir in the glue. And you may see the color change just a little bit, but the glue dries clear, so the color will stay um, as is when dry. And make sure you scrape the edges, get the bottom, and that consistency. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see that, but look at that. That is on point. So, take our last cup. And I'm not sure if I'm going to need to... Whoa. Okay, that just exploded on me. Wipe that on the tablecloth. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to need to thin this out because this is um, a flow acrylic by Artist Loft. It's not necessarily a fluid acrylic, but it is not definitely... Is Okay, let me start over. It's definitely not a heavy body, which neither are these, but they're thicker. So let me grab a popsicle stick here. Yeah, we're going to throw some water in here just because. So just a little bit. And stir that in. Stir, stir, stir. Okay. Now remember, you want this to flow off your stick as if you had it pouring medium in. And the reason why you don't just thin the paint out with water is because, um, add a little bit more water here, is, um, you don't want to have, well, okay, so, if you have a thicker paint like this one, you don't want to just add water because it'll thin the paint out to the point where it's not really acrylic anymore, it's pretty much just pigment and water. And that's not good because that means it loses all its binding purposes and it, it, it just messes up the paint. So, I mean, I could totally try just using water for you guys if you'd like to see that. Comment that down below. So now we're going to add in our glue. Okay, that was kind of a lot, but who really cares? <laughs> because it'll all work out eventually. So the past few times I've tried using glue, um, they've never turned out. I, um, if you are an Instagram follower, you'll know I have tried using um, clear glue before, and it worked fine as a pouring medium, but when it came to varnishing, I was using uh, Liquitex Professionals varnish. Wow, look at that. It just runs off the stick until it's dry. Okay, uh, next color. Let me grab some smaller cups. Let's use these ones. Ooh. Um, the pouring medium, the clear glue as a pouring medium worked fine, but, 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 there's always a but here. Um, It didn't work well with the, um, the gloss varnish that I was using. It cracked when it was drying. So, and I did wash the canvases because there was silicone. And I'll show you the paint. This is just DecoArt Americana paint. I was going to do a DecoArt pouring medium video, but of course I bought the paint and then couldn't find the pouring medium, so... I have to wait till it's back in stock on Amazon because otherwise I'm going to have to wait two weeks to get it. So I'm just going to wait till it's back on for Amazon Prime and then I'll get it. And so now I'm not thinning these out with water because these are already pretty fluid. So, yeah. We're going to try this out, see how it looks. And if it needs water, you can always add water. I mean, I guess you could add water after the glue, but. It doesn't really. This is just the way I'm trying it, so. Um, yeah. I feel like I'm saying water weird today. I mean, I'm saying it with a weird accent that I'm not used to. Water. Water. <laughs> okay. Wow, that mixed in real easy. <laughs> now let's see what the consistency looks like. Bring this up close. That's very good. <laughs> Actually, that's really good. And I didn't really say the um, amount of glue that I'm putting into paint. It's probably close to um, probably close to 50/50. Sorry, I'm moving that out of frame. Uh, 
There's that one so far. The consistency is really good, actually. I'm surprised. Oh, you know what I don't have out? I do not have my torch out. How terrible. I forgot something. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's good. Okay. So, now let's bring our colors back out. Our array of colors that are pretty... I don't want to say these are my signature colors, because I don't know if I have signature colors yet, but, um... Is the cap open? So, once again, Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Serum by OGX. That's the brand name, OGX. So we're just going to do a little pump. And I have tried this with Floetrol paint and water, but, um... It didn't work that well because the selling happened too fast. And then, um, it sold too much and it just made it look muddy and it wasn't very good. It, it didn't turn out very well, but, um, I can, once again, always try that again. Maybe try some different things this time. So, because, you know, you do things and you learn, and then you try other things and you learn new things. So then, maybe you can do new things with the old things, because that sentence made complete sense. So I'm just stirring the um, silicone in just a few little stirs. And then I'm going to move my paints back off to the side. Move my glue off to the side. Get my canvas. And I'm going to grab my torch real quick. Pause the video. And I'm back. I didn't literally mean pause the video. So I hope you guys didn't pause it. So, uh, oh, let's see. Where is this in frame? Okay, there. Uh, okay, now we're good. <laughs> we're going to start. What color should we start with? Let's start with white. Why not? Okay. So, put a decent amount of white in. And I did get more flow troll today, so. Maybe we'll do some experimenting with Floetrol and glue together. Maybe. I don't know. Now we're going to take this dark aqua kind of teal color. See if... Okay, so... I Next color, I'm going to do it from a little bit higher up. Which is like this seafoam bright aqua color. We're going to do this high up, see if it mixes. And it does. Okay. That's always a good thing because that means you can do multiple techniques and styles with this, get more blending. Now we're going to do this green. A little bit up high. Okay. And halt. Now we're going to do a little bit of black. We're just going to kind of cover the surface. Okay. Now we're going to do some of this red. And I can already tell this is going to be selling like crazy. Now we're going to do some burnt... I don't know, this is like a burnt orange brown color. More of an orange, I guess. And we're going to do a little bit more of that red. Then we'll do a little bit more white. drop a scoop full of this aqua in and then we'll do a scoop full of this light sea foam because I like those colors and I will flip our cup and you just flip the canvas over put your hand on the back and just flip it okay now make sure that we're in view here okay I always seem to struggle with uh, keeping things in view. So I'm not sure, I think I have too much paint for this little canvas, but we'll see. I always have too much paint anyways. And you'll notice I have a lot of paint mixed up. That's because I'm doing more than one experiment. I might throw um, some Floetrol in these cups and try the glue and Floetrol together. But... Alright, magic tap is done. Release the cup. I'm not sure if you can see this, but this is 
really cool so far actually. Looking really good. Some cells coming up. And I'm going to move this quickly because, um, oh, my, one of my pins just came out. That's okay. Just kind of move this all over. And I'm not spreading it to the corners just yet because I want to make sure. Okay, let's come back to this side. And I'm seeing a lot of air bubbles, which is probably pretty normal. Okay, I'm going to stop there because I like that. Oh, I forgot one of my pins fell out. We'll just balance it on there. Okay, I did not grab a towel. What is wrong with me? Or a palette knife. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? <laughs> Um, let's see. Let's just grab the torch and go for it. Wait, no, hold on. I'm going to use a popsicle stick as a palette knife today to kind of... Okay. Um, yeah. That's not going to happen, I don't think. I'm just going to grab a palette knife quickly. I'm sorry. I'm going to wash my hands off. I'll kind of go back. Okay, now we are ready to put this on our corners, and I'm not sure I can see all the way over here, so I might have to get my head in the way. And we may end up tilting this again, just smear that on, get my head in the way so no one can see. <laughs> okay. Oop. That wasn't very successful. Yeah, we're probably going to tilt again just to get these corners matching everything. Okay, and now, the magic moment. I can see, as you guys can see, there are some cells coming up, but Let's see what happens here. That's a, oh, it's my, oh, it is, okay. So, it appears my torch is out of um, butane, but as you guys can see, there is some selling. I'm sorry, once again, I'll be back because I have no butane in my torch. Okay, that was the last trip, I promise. Can make sure this is closed. Oh, shoot. Okay, don't do that. One, two, three, and we're done. I should have shown you guys that, but, um... That still isn't a big flame. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, look at that. Okay, my torch must be having problems here. This isn't a very old torch either. So, let's try this again. Okay. Uh, there's a bigger flame. And make sure you don't hold it in one place too long, because glue dries up very fast. Make sure you get every little spot so you don't have weird spots that don't look like they don't have cells. Make sure you get your edges too. Edges are important. What is up with my torch? It's already out of butane again. Okay, something must be wrong with it, guys. But I, I'm telling you right now, this is incredible. The selling here is just... On point, I mean, 
This is actually some of the coolest selling I've had. And I'm seeing a few bubbles that aren't popping, so I might have to do that manually. I have to do that on my own with a toothpick. Okay. I am blown away, guys. This is really incredible. I'm gonna wait. Let me see if I can get some of these little pots to sell up. There's one of them coming. Other one's not, but that's okay. I am seeing some big air bubbles, so that may be a problem. But, okay, you guys can't see a lot of detail in this. But that's okay, because I'm going to bring you guys down for a close-up, as usual. Flip the little screen around, and I mean, can you guys see that? I mean... My goodness, what else do you want? Look at that. That is just... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, this is really cool. I mean, can you get better lacing? I'm not sure. And look at this. I mean... Seriously. What the... Uh, I mean... I'm just blown away, guys. You've got to try this. And I don't even know if the color is showing up right on here. But the color in this was so cool. But. That looks like it's. I mean. I'm sorry. I'm showing you guys this again. But. Just look at that. I mean that's really pretty. And. Let me see if. Okay there it is. Look at all those cells. Those are. I, that's. Crazy guys. Just crazy. Okay, but I'm going to close this video off because I don't want to keep it too long as normal. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. That's really appreciated. And um, if you want to buy an original piece by me, check out my Etsy link, link, Etsy link in the description. Um, if you have Instagram, definitely check me out at Beyond Acrylic Art on Instagram because that's my main outlet of posts and what's coming up, if you can get a sale, I mean, that's where I have all that information. So, definitely check that out, and we'll see you next time. Bye!